Hello everyone, my name is Julie and I'm excited to talk to you today about my experience as a woman working in a male-dominated industry. As one of the few women in this industry, I came across a lot of hurdles. In order to get past them and become a, um, a successful professional and happier person, I need to make changes to my life. I came alone to Canada from South Korea in 2003 when I was 13 years old as an international student. When I came, I could say words like, hi, how are you, I don't know, or thank you. My plan was to attend school to learn English for one year, but almost 16 years later, here I am, still in Edmonton. I don't know if you can tell, but I can speak English now. <laughs> I was fortunate to meet very kind people during my time from grade eight to university. They helped me with my English assignments and helped me settle in and build a strong foundation for myself here in Canada. Thanks to their support, I was able to survive U of A's engineering program while also having fun and making a lot of unforgettable memories. I grew up with a very supportive, loving family. My friends and their parents in Canada were also very encouraging and sympathetic to my situation. They made me feel strong and brave. Even though I was here alone, I never felt lonely. I was looking forward to exploring all that life had to offer after university. I thought my life experience up to that point prepared me. I decided to pursue my career in construction. I've always been a visual and hands-on learner and want, wanted to gain field experience. My first project was in Fort McMurray and it was eye-opening. I wasn't fully prepared for my professional realities, uh, re, sorry, realities as I thought I was. The vast majority of the time, I would be one of the few females almost everywhere I went. I was new to this type of setting and did not expect how crude some people would be. I was surprised to meet people who were disrespectful, rude, and undermining towards me. Some did not take me seriously, and it felt like some of them purposely tried to make my life difficult. I didn't know how to handle these situations wisely, and often would just cry over them. I heard comments like, you're a terrible lead coordinator. You're never gonna move up. You're stupid. How many people have you slept with? You're being a bitch. I have more experience than you. And if I said I was tired or wasn't feeling well, I'd be asked if I was on my period or pregnant. Some wouldn't even respond to my questions or completely ignore me altogether. I don't want to paint a negative picture. I did meet great people who took me under their wing and gave me a lot of advice. They listened to me, respected, and cared about me. They genuinely wanted me to grow and succeed. They said, if I want to succeed and survive in construction, I need to develop a thick skin, stand up for myself, and speak up if needed. But as time went on, it became increasingly difficult to manage the different levels of disrespect. I tried to practice what I learned from my colleagues and previous experiences, but I couldn't resolve some of the conflicts. I tried to take control of situations by facing problems head on, but I didn't know how to do it effectively, and ultimately, I felt that nothing was working. I used to question, why are these things happening to me? Why is it that my male colleagues who are in the same position as me did not receive any of these comments, but I did? Was it my gender, ethnicity, age, or confidence? I wasn't sure, but because I was the only one receiving these comments, I began to believe that they would impact my prof professional potential. I was beginning to see the negativity affect my life outside of work. I lost my confidence and was constantly doubting my abilities. I became impatient, irritable, mentally and emotionally exhausted. And I was caring so much about what people thought of me. I did not like how the work environment was influencing my personality. I was living to work, not working to live. I was constantly checking my work emails outside of work hours. I wasted quality time with the people I love by focusing on the negatives. I realized I was letting these disrespectful people take away the life I had built over 15 years. I had to assess my priorities and come up with a er er list of areas of improvement for myself. I took time to consider my values. I care about my family, friends, health, and balance in life. I needed to put those first again and appreciate my surroundings. I also created small achievable goals. For example, one week, I would commit to be more patient with a rude individual and stay confident. Tackling one step at a time felt less overwhelming. I changed my perspective by accepting people for who they are and stopped stressing about what I did or didn't do to deserve poor treatment. I focused on small victories instead of focusing on things that weren't getting done. This allowed me to turn my work switch off and achieve healthier work-life balance. Whew. I stopped comparing myself to others. I needed to recognize that all of us bring unique skills and qualities to the table. It's okay that a colleague who started at the same time as me became a project manager before I did. Stop focusing on others, allow me to enhance my own skills and focus on my professional trajectory. 
I believe that self-respect is about self-improvement and being kind to yourself. I incorporated exercise into my life and gave more to my community by volunteering. I set clear boundaries between work and personal time and made sure to recharge by taking vacations. These small changes really helped me value myself more. I'm constantly working on my improving my communication skills. It never ceases to amaze me how one message can be delivered and interpreted so differently, especially in a fast-paced work environment. I believe that effective communication is essential to maintaining healthy relationships, which will also improve morale and productivity. In professional settings, many women tend to not pump their own tires or give themselves enough credit. As women, we need to show that we're not weak, we're not a bitch, nor being bossy, we're assertive. Our periods do not impact our performance, and we have right to speak up and, uh, and put our foot down when needed. We need to be more confident in ourselves and should give credit where it's due. We also need to be objective about our experiences and manage what is in our control to enhance our personal and professional happiness. It wasn't until I truly respected myself that I could manage the disrespect and earn the respect I deserve. If you have or know someone who has experienced similar situations, please know you're alone. We can't always control disrespectful people, so let's stop allowing disrespect to ruin our day or self-esteem. We are smarter and stronger than we think. By working to become better versions of ourselves, we gain our own respect, and that's the ultimate respect worth having. Thank you. <laughs>